Welcome back everyone. Got another story here I wanted to talk about. An iceberg expected to be one of the 10 largest ever recorded is ready to break away from Antarctica is what the science is saying. A long running rift in Larsen Sea ice shelf grew suddenly in December and is now just 20 kilometers of ice is keeping the 5,000 square mile piece from floating away. That's about 2,000 square miles. I'm sorry, it was 5,000 kilometers, which is equal to 2,000 square miles. Larsen Sea is the most northern major ice shelf in the Antarctic. Researchers based in Swaznia say the loss of a piece of a quarter the size of whales will leave the whole shelf vulnerable to future breakup. Larsen Sea is about 350 meters thick and floats on the seas at the edge of the West Antarctic, holding back the flow of glaciers that feed into it. Researchers have been tracking the rift in Larsen Sea for many years, watching it with some trepidation after the collapse of Larsen A ice shelf in 1995 and the sudden breakup of the Larsen B shelf in 2002, as you can see here. Last year, researchers from the UK project reported that the Larsen C rift was growing fast, but in December, the rift of the speed went into overdrive, growing by a further 18 kilometers in just a couple of weeks. If it doesn't go into the next few months, I'll be amazed. Project leader Proof Adrian Luckman from Swaznia University told BBC News, there hasn't been enough cloud-free Landsat images, but we're, we've managed to combine a pair of ESA Sentinel-1 radar images to notice this extension, and it's so close to caving that I don't think it. I think it's inevitable. The researchers say that this is a good geographic that this is geographical and not a climate event. This rift has been present for decades, they say, but it's punched through at this particular time. It's believed that climate warming brought forward likely separation of the iceberg, but scientists say they have no direct evidence to support this. However, they are concerned about the break-off that will impact the rest of the ice shelf, given that its neighbor Larsen B disintegrated spectacularly in 2002 following a smaller cal calving event. I mean, this is why we've got a big problem here with this. It's a non-stop issue. It's raising sea levels around the world, and you can say what you want to, but I have a few photos here that actually show there are places that had a lot of land before that's not there now. It's losing or the ocean is gaining water levels yearly and it's not a lot piece by piece but as the more and more start to fall in from those ice shelves in Antarctica I mean right there you can see plain as day we will lose more of our coastal land the water will start to inundate the land and we won't be able to live there we won't be able to stay there and it's happening in other places around the world too not just here in America uh, it's such an issue now that we just don't even know how to tackle it anymore. I mean, everybody wants to say greenhouse gas is this, greenhouse gas is that, but now we've got scientists saying that greenhouse had nothing to do with the fact that this iceberg has moved into overdrive as far as wanting to crack off and break into the ocean. And like I said, I've got the credible evidence and pictures here that show you, you know, sea level rise is real, it is happening. And it's happening now at an accelerated rate faster than we ever thought we would see in our lifetime. It's time to fix it. And I think everyone is starting to get the message. There are things at play here on planet Earth that are causing such a problem for us that we need to figure out what the, what the cause of it is so we can help protect future generations from what's coming. This is one of the more stunning photographs that I happen to come across. Try and tell me that sea level rise isn't real after you've seen this photo. Because to me, that's undeniable evidence.